Action, action everywhere you look. The Speedy Services UK Open live from the Reebok Stadium. Steve Beaton in action next on the main stage. Former world champion Dennis Ovens confirmation. He is through from the preliminary round, beating Craig McCaskill 4-1. Another bit of news, Kevin Medine, a 4-0 win for him against Kurt Gordon. Big upset already, though. Michael Burgoyne beating Tony West, six-time Lakeside player, former uh, uh, Masters champion as well. He's talking to uh, Ro uh, Wayne Mardle, I should say. Thank you. Well, here I am with Michael. Michael, how does that feel to win on a stage as huge as that on live Sky Sports? Oh, that's, I mean, it's just what dreams are made of really I mean I've been dreaming of this moment all my life really I've wanted to play up on the PDC stage since I started playing darts and yeah I've just done it and to, to beat Tony West a former world master and in in a huge tournament now what does this mean for the career of Michael Borgwine can can you kick on from this oh, of course I can I can beat anyone on my day yeah uh, well done sir well done brilliant stuff Thank cool you. as you like, isn't he? Michael Burgoyne, look out for him. 4-2 winner over Tony West. Back to the action on the main board. Steve Beaton, John Jukes, let's hear uh, from our commentary team, John Gwynn and Stuart Pike. Well, Steve 20. Beaton has made a mess John, of the opening 40. leg. The, uh, the speedy qualifier, uh, John Jukes, has already hit a maximum in the opening leg. And now he needs double ten. 20. Well, on Stevie the Ringwire wire again. 20. How costly will those misses prove to be? The experienced former world champ. Now he's double five, John. Yes, making a mess of it. Both of them, really. Hard. And he deliberately burst that. Uh, made sure he went back to double ten. Wasn't a bad dart, per se. As uh, now he wants double five. And that's a bit awkward. That's a little bit awkward. I'm surprised he didn't move. Ten. A uh, touch to his right so in order to open the angle 20. out a little bit. But, um, yes, a scrappy first leg, to say the least. Opening night nerves. No score. Well, that was a poor dart, wasn't it? Ten. How important could this prove to be? Well, Steve Beaton looks like he's lost a tenner by the look on his face. Oh, and used the barrel beautifully the there, Dukes. Much to think about already for Select the John former Dean world champion Rufus. Steve Beaton. He's struggled a bit, you know, uh, of late. Steve Beaton, he's dropped down to number 32 in the world. So he's just about hanging on to his place in the elite. But look at this. 120. Unlucky with the last start. Just yeah. fading, drifting into the treble three. But John Duke's here. Pressure on Beaton. A good 139 from Beaton. And Stephen Hardy fans, your man's won 4 3 against Mark Dewsbury in a thriller on board six. Still, uh, Duke's here. Very sideways on stance. 97. Former footballer, was on Chelsea's junior books. He tells me he was very familiar with Jody Morris. Good player around 85. Various divisions. Yeah, he's, he, you, you're spot on, John. He, he, he was actually uh, part of Chelsea's School of Excellence for four years, age 13 to 16. He was a, a decent player, decent golfer, decent all-round sportsman, and he's already shown here he's, he's no mean data as well. Oh, this is beaten at his best. Well, almost. <laughs> Not quite. But finding it at last, Steve Beaton. Got a lot of fans in the world of darts as Steve Beaton. And uh, with all due respect to young Duke, 27 years of age, he's a man from Oxford. Not quite as many as this man, world champion in 1996 at Brimley Green. 57. So 80 left, but this for a 2 0 lead. Steve Einfans, your man is through. Muffin Man comes from behind to win 4 3 on board. 3. Oh, double five here! Brilliant! Oh, oh yes! Jukes of Hazard! Now it's hazardous for Beaton! Well, don't you just love the UK Open, where a former world champion, one of the most familiar 
names and faces in the world of darts can play a 27-year-old bin man from Oxford. And it's the bin man from Oxford who's taken charge of this match. 95. Tony West beaten in the opening game of the night. This would be an even bigger shock if Steve Beaton is beaten. I agree. A former world master, yes, uh, Tony West, but a former world champ, Steve Beaton, and not very long ago, upwardly mobile, playing some of his best darts for a long, long time. Yes, struggling more of late, and that is it. Form is not a permanent thing, is it? No, it's only 18 months ago that, that Beaton beat Phil Taylor at the Grand Slam, you remember? I do, indeed. But I, I, I love the way that the speedy qualifiers work, John. 80. That, that dotted around the, the country, and what happens is that they all throw 15 darts. The eight highest scorers, 15 darts in total, 16. go through to a knockout, and yes. then they play one leg of 701. And the winner goes through and qualifies. Uh, and that's what John Dukes has done. 140. Stevie Acquire, 120. Oh, well, you feel it's a must, this, for Beaton. And again, a poor first dart puts him out of the equation this visit. He's still favourite to win the leg. 64. But, uh, clearly a man who's struggling to find his best. He'll, you'll see moments from Beaton rather than consistency that uh, we've been so used to over the years. 100. Steve, you require 56. 56. Well, he's gone the other way. He's gone for 20 double 18. Needed 56. He didn't need 60. He needed 56. And Steve Beaton gets 56 on double 18. And, well, wins a leg. He, he had to win. All he's done is whole throw. Yes, one breaker throw up this man, and that's all he needs to know. 100. All he needs to realise is that he's got that break of throw to his advantage. As long as he holds his own, he's OK. Hold your throw, you never know. But in his case, he does. And that is just what the doctor ordered for Steve Beaton. Well, Be Beaton needs 3.21 at the moment. Whoa. And John Dukes replies in kind with a 180, and he needs 221. Two legs to one, Dukes in front. He's on 221, beaten on 321 before this visit to the hockey. 54. First to four, remember, and this is only the preliminary round. Yes, that's right. It most certainly is. Only the preliminary round, but look at the quality of the throwing from a qualifier. That shows you, folks, the depth of ability, of quality there is. 139. In the game of darts. John, you require 86. Is this man for a 3-1 lead? Wants 18 for Bull. Oh, now double seven. Playing 72. the each way way. So hoping that single would leave Bull, but treble double seven. Sometimes I think bull is easier than doubles. Um, a brilliant double, ten! Well, I said we'd see moments, Stuart, and I thought we were going to then. Yeah, it could be a pivotal moment. That was to break back for Steve Beaton. Oh, yes, yeah, straight at it. it. Aggressive dart, got his reward. Dukes of Hazard. Well, he's in the driving seat here against the former world champion. 180. Well, both players have hit two 180s now, and uh, they're ploughing them in here for fun. Another one, 40 perhaps. No, he comes down anyway to the 19s. But a second leg on the trot where Beaton has kicked off with a, a maximum. Is he going to follow up with another? Oh, so close. We, well, we would love to see a nine data in a preliminary round match.
58. Well, Steve Beaton, well, got to win this, hasn't he? Got to win this. 59. Only 59, but got enough of a cushion in this leg, you would think. Yeah, one or two other scores. Steve Farmer won, Jamie Lewis won on board two. Adam Smith Neil. 41. He's at one. Steve Rick won, 122. Rob three on board three. Joe Mernon one up. He's a local lad from Bolton against Stuart 65. Anderson. Try and keep you posted, but let's keep our eye on this as Beaton wants 57 for to hold his throw. Yeah, also, Adrian Gray famously once beat Taylor, didn't 46. he? Steve he's 2 1 up 57. against Steve Evans. Here, Beaton needs tops to stay in the match. 17. Oh, it's a cruel game sometimes. He's a long way from the target, but uh, Dukes is a long way from being near to beaten in this leg anyway maybe he can shut this leg out as I said earlier he's just got to hold his throw Pete that's a lovely marker and beaten at his best would put this in no problem about no problem at all but when it ain't happening it ain't happening now this is where a 180 would be useful leave double 16 one out of 12 on the doubles for Steve Beaton Jamie Lewis beating Steve Farmer 2-1 on board two. A talented Forty. young Welshman here. A talented former world 30. champion who just cannot buy a double. 72. 14 darts, he's missed at doubles. And he could be out any moment now. He could indeed. Any moment now. Big dart for double 18 for yet another shock. And a world champion could have gone out of the UK Open at the earliest possible stage. Now, to save his skin, needs double two like he's never needed it before, and he gets it. Well, now then, Dukes has got to hold his throw and put that disappointment behind him. Two darts for double 18 yeah. to beat, beat. Two darts to win the match. How much will that be weighing heavily on the mind of young John Dukes? 59. The bin man who's back on duty early on Monday morning around the streets of Oxford. Well, Dave Clark described this in an article I read as a darts equivalent to soccer Saturday I can tell you we've got Steve beaten two obviously here at Dukes three but on other boards Farmers losing 2-1 3-3 three, on 140. board three Rob Hawker and Adam Smith Neil 3-3 three, three. yep and uh, got a on winner on board four Stuart yep Mark Barilli 4-0 winner oh, oh perfect Perfect, perfect darts and perfect timing. He's throwing for the match. He's potentially three darts away from it. Third 180. And the fact that Beaton is back on 202 means that Jukes has it in his own hands. It won't be with this visit, but leave it handy. Even 80. Oh, that's great throwing. Great throwing to leave 46, and surely having had two darts at double 18 previously, but failing, he will finish off the world champ here. Already missed two darts to win it in the last leg. Double 16 for John Dukes. 30. Well, his Steve heart was a pounding, uh, you can rest assured. Not easy to hit that winning double, no matter how far ahead you are. He's going to have another go at double eight now. Whoa. Beaten, though, is only just Steve behind him on 45. 16. This is the most crucial visit of the match so far. For an amazing win! A second upset on the big stage! Stage 
one has seen now not only the dismissal of Tony West but also Steve Beaton. And coming up next, one of the top young stars in the world of darts, the former world youth champion, Aaron Monk, next at the UK Open. Hi, hi, hi. This is what is going on right now. Confirmation, Tony West and Steve Beaton. Out, Aaron Monk taking on Paul Bolton. Qualifier from Sirencester next on our main board. But let's just show you what's happening or been happening out and about. Board number seven, familiar face, Kevin McDyne. Comfortable 4-0 victory over Kurt Gordon. He looks like the coolest man in the house, doesn't he, McDyne? Qualified by the name of Jamie Robinson, is a factory worker from Colchester. Putting out Mark Lawrence, a 4-1 victory for him. Happy man, isn't he? Board five, Bernd Roy. Saw him play for Germany in the World Cup. Good win for him over Jason Wilson. 4-1 victory. Over on board three, the Muffin Man. Oh, big celebration. Came through a tight one, 4-3 against Jamie Hughes. The Heat on form again, Danny Subbins. Semi-finalist the last couple of years here. Always likes it on the outside boards. 4-1 victory over Craig McCaskill. And on board six, Stephen Hardy, calling the Nutcracker from Basildon. Fifth appearance of the UK Open. Another tight one, a 4-3 win over Mark Dewsbury. Right here I am with Stephen Hardy, who I know very well. Just won his first game, 4-3, took out a 92. Steve, some shot. Well, yeah, uh, I was debating before I went up there, should I go for the ball, should I go? But I thought, no, I'll hit the 60. If I missed the 60, I'll hit the 20, treble 12, double 18. And it went in and I'm just over the moon. Simple, isn't it? It's simple when it goes. Now, I've known you for a long, long time. We come through the youth ranks together. We, we had our first sponsor together. Yeah. And now, look, I I've kind of packed up and you're taking off. Yeah, but you're still quality player, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> He's got all the right answers. Thank you, thank you. Stephen Arley, great Thank you very much. Guys. Thanks. Biggest upset so far done by this man, John Dukes, putting out Steve Beaton 4-2. Tell me what it was like for you on the main stage, John. Oh, absolutely amazing. Uh, well, don't, know, don't know how to describe it, to be honest. Just Tell us a bit about yourself, because you, you, you're a street cleaner for a living, is that right? Yeah, that's what I do. work for a company called Biffa and uh, just empty bins and that's about it. <laughs> so what, I mean, what does it feel like? One day you're, you're emptying the bins, the next minute you're on the main stage, on telly, beating a, a former world champion. Absolutely amazing. That's, this is what I want to do, you know, more, more, more and more of if I can you know, get the right back in, and that's, uh, that's the way where I want to go in me, in me life, really. Now, there are, there are a few nervy moments, a few missed doubles, the pressure twitches, was starting yeah, to bite. Yeah. You've got a 180 in the, in the decider, though. Yeah, yeah, it's come at the right time for me, and uh, I kicked on from there and managed to rip me double. You've got quite a sporting background. Um, you, you were with Chelsea for a while, I believe. Yeah, I was there for three, three seasons uh, when I was a young boy, 13, so I was about 16. Did any of the lads you were playing alongside of that time make it to the first Jody, team? Jody Morris was uh, the one that yeah, went on. Jody Morris, uh, yeah. None of the others went through Chelsea's, uh, Chelsea's way forward, but Jody Morris, yeah, he was the one that, that made it. And tell us about your darts. Where do you play your darts? How long have you been playing the game for? Uh, I play at a, a club called King Sutton in Banbury. Uh, I play county for Oxfordshire. I've been playing since I was about 14 in leagues and uh, just trying to do as many competitions as I can. And you got another match to come. I yeah. don't know who you're playing yet, it's an either or still. Does it matter? Not now. <laughs> Not after winning that one. No. Hey, congratulations. Brilliant performance. Well done. Thank Put you out very Steve much. Bean. Congratulations. Crowds gathering round the outside boards. That's board number six over there. 